So we are in the 57 kilogram featherweight division. And this second semi-final is to determine who will go through to face the man from Cuba. Walter Rodriguez Del Rey prevailing on a walkover after his opponent from India failed to make it. So it would be Saidel Horta Rodriguez in the gold medal bout. Abdul Malik Kalakov has just made his way to the red corner. So there is the seed slaying man from Kyrgyzstan, Munabek Seatbek Ulu, eliminated the tournament number two seed on a 4 1 split in the round of 16 before eliminating the man from Tajikistan on a 4 1 split at the quarterfinal stage. And that is how he has arrived here at the semi final. 53 boxes make up the featherweight division. And this the fifth bout of the tournament. For the man from Kyrgyzstan. So Veronica Zooks of Hungary is our referee. And we are underway, 57 kilogram featherweight action between boxers from Uzbekistan and Kyrgyzstan. The man wearing blue is Abdul Malik Palakov. Palakov, the taller of the two boxers. But another tall figure operating out of the blue corner is Munabek Saitbek Ulu. Here fainting to begin this opening round between two lovely loose limbed operators. Both men like to operate out of a relaxed guard and trust their reflexes and footwork to dart in and out of range without reply. Double left hand landed by Palakov. Bolo shot to the body, followed by success to the head to establish his left jab triggered an attack once again which saw him get through with the right hand and again it's his left hand that is just punctuating the action here and this is a terrific portion of the round for Halakov and once again he's one of the nine Uzbek medalists one of the nine final four Uzbek boxes in action today at the semi-final stage. He's receiving terrific support. My goodness, isn't he feeding off it because he's the far busier boxer. And the man in blue been found guilty of watching and waiting for far too long. Oh, beautiful counter right hand. It came on a corkscrew from Halakov. Turned the palm upwards. Didn't set it up with a jab and landed cleanly. Well, he really is flowing beautifully here. There's Halakov and Saitbek Ulu. He's got to try and do something get himself back into this round because we're just 30 seconds remaining unless he does something drastic for my money it's going to be a 10 8 a 10 9 return across the cards but of course that is one of the beautiful things about boxing concentration has to be remain has to remain absolute because a single shot can turn things around in a hurry and now Saitbek Ulu's problems mounting because he's got a damaged nose and that has seen Veronica Soups 
Paul for the inspection of the doctor. And this contest is over. So, Veronica Sooks on the instruction of the doctor prompts a somersault of celebration from Abdul Malik Halakov because he has stopped his opponent in the opening round. The doctor waving the contest off. So it will be RSCI in favor of Abdul Malik Halakov, his sharp shooting pot shots damaging the nose of Monabek Saitbek Ulu. And that is why there is a jubilant celebration up in the stands. Let's get confirmation. RSC in favor of that man, which is why he is all smiles. For the second consecutive world championships, Abdul Malik Halakov of Uzbekistan has boxed his way through to the gold medal bout. Two years ago in Belgrade, it was a silver medal in the 60 kilogram lightweight division, losing to the outstanding Sofyan Umahar. But here, a weight division south in the 57 kilogram featherweight ranks, he is literally jumping for joy because he has an opportunity to go at least one better. He's guaranteed at least another world championship silver, but he will have his sights set on world championship gold in front of his home fans. And it was shots such as that, rapier-like left jabs and corkscrew uppercuts from the backhand that saw Abdul Malik Halakov damage the nose of Munabek Saitbek Ulu. He stopped in the opening round he comes away with a world championship bronze medal the first ever world championship bronze for kyrgyzstan so munabek saitbek ulu a history maker for his nation he occupies a place on the podium he's got fifty thousand dollars us in his bank account but that is the man who will go through to contest championship